Hey everyone, it's Anna here at D's and I know you have seen me create these mantle pieces for other seasons like Christmas last year and Easter and I thought I would bring you a couple different options if maybe you are decorating your mantelpiece or your dining room table coming up for fall or Thanksgiving. This is like the quickest and easiest way to do it. You may even be able to use this idea with some things you already have but of course I'm going to show you two different versions of this beautiful piece today that you can purchase on shopdieselove.com or in the store. I kind of did two different colorways like one more neutral with greens and then one a little bit more traditional fall and I'm going to show you how to make it now so first up I'll show you this is what we're going to be making I this is the first one that's up on the website it's the more traditional colored one but look how pretty that is it's so simple and it lays so nicely whether it is a mantelpiece or a dining room table and then you guys it's so simple if you wanted to add more to it you could add candlesticks you could take your faux pumpkins and tuck it in let me grab another one over here you could set those in there too and it just is really nice and low for a table so people can see each other or it does work great on a mantle maybe you have a big mirror or even like if you have a tv above your mantle this is a perfect thing to do because it adds a little touch of fall but it doesn't take up too much room so i'm going to show you how to make that it's so simple we're just going to tie a couple stems together with ribbon it's going to be gorgeous so that's the first one more traditional if you like the traditional fall colors that's the way to go if you are more of like a neutral person you like more of the um, greens and things like that this one's going to be the one you're going to want to do I've got two of the exact same stem and I'm going to fluff it just like we do for any kit any wreath just go stem by stem everything's wired everything's going to work really well just to fluff it up a little bit and you're going to do that with both of them but like I said you guys this project is so easy and quick you may even have something at home like older stems you can tie together. You could even get like a ribbon set from us that matches and use it to coordinate everything. So I just took a little bit of time. I fluffed those together. Now what you're going to do is you're going to lay them side by side and you just want to make sure you twist them together here and there. So I take the stems that are wired and wrap them around each other and then twist it like a bread tie. And then that's, you can wire it too. Like if you want to use a little bit of cloth covered wire but I simply just twist them together like that. And then that way I'm not damaging anything. I'm not cutting anything really short and I could always reuse them if I want. So now I'm ready to make my bow. This one, I make my bow a little different. I start with my wide ribbon and I make three loops. I don't leave the tail too long because I want it to be more like that one where it's just a nice piece in the middle with the wide. And then the smaller ribbon is what trails off. So I'm gonna do three loops of that. Okay, and then you take your narrow ribbon. This is a really pretty farmhouse green stripe. You're gonna leave your tail nice and long on that one. About 24, 32 inches in that range, depending on how big your mantle is. You're gonna make three nice size loops with that as well. Now you're ready to tie it off with your wire. Go right in the middle. And the nest wire is also gonna be part of what secures these two stems together more than just twisting them. What you wanna do when you go to tie it on though is make sure one of each of those uh, first ribbon tails goes in opposite directions. So just go right in the middle, twist it on, and then you're ready to move everything around. So you've got one green tail going this way. You've got one green tail going that way. You've got one red tail going each direction. I'm going to go ahead and cut those real quick. Let that wire do a little work. Make it pretty. This, this piece is definitely a little bit more open and airy than the leaf one, but it all depends on your style. Next, you're going to take your green tails. You're just going to kind of pull them. You're going to find a spot where there's a little bit of a gap. And again, just use the stems that are wired. It's so nice catch it and then cut that end. Look how cute that is. You're gonna repeat down here, same thing. Wanna kinda do them about the same length. Catch it, let the wires do their work. So same thing here, put it under a TV. I like to always pull stuff to the middle of my bow. You guys know that. I don't like to make it look like I stuck a bow on anything. So I just take a few minutes, find a few little stems close to the middle of that bow and kind of bring it. Look how pretty that looks. I'm going to move this one out of the way so you can see it even better. So this is a more natural look. Maybe you have farmhouse style. Maybe you do a little bit more modern. This kind of grass works really well. 
you have a mantle that has the TV. You don't want anything too tall on the table. You can always tuck in the pumpkins though. You know, you guys got like a million styrofoam pumpkins laying around. Perfect to do on the mantle. Perfect to do down the table. Maybe you're having everyone over for Thanksgiving. You want to have a special little decoration. This is super inexpensive way to do it. And both of these kits are available up on shopdeesloval.com.